Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys several timeline animation styles that you can use to transform your documentary style videos, make them more engaging, memorable, and visually compelling. So without wasting too much time, let's get into it. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you three styles. If you want more, let me know in the comment section and you can also suggest videos that I can make tutorials on. So let's go. So the first thing we need to do is create a new composition. This will be 1920 by 1080, 24 frames. And I'm going to leave the duration as 20 seconds. Then click OK here. So this compound will be our main combo. We need to create a new composition. So I'll create a new composition. But for this composition, I'm going to make the width around 4,000. We need the long, long width like this. Then next, I'm going to add a new solid background, which is going to be white. Then after that, click on this icon here. We need to bring in the ruler. Then bring it down like this to almost below it okay so this will help us guide us in drawing our stroke so go to your pen tool make sure there's no solid there's no fill and just the stroke and this stroke will be seven pixels so i'm just going to click here then click here too so you see that this one has snapped to the to the guide we have then i'm going to go back to my selection tool then drag this so that it aligns properly like this with our ruler still here i'm going to select my pen to again but this time this stroke is going to be 30 needs to be bigger so finally scroll down to the align tool here and align it horizontally so it's in the middle and this is okay so i'm just going to move this ruler back or our guide back and let's move on to the next part so next i've renamed my strokes here so we'll move forward so i'll go back to my comp one and i'll drag this comp here this comp tool that we've created and drag it into our, our main comp here and you can see that our rest stroke is in the middle and everything is centered properly and that's what we want so let's move on let's go back to comp two so next i'm going to go to my text tool here then anywhere actually i'm just going to click here and type in 1850 and this text is going to be black also so i'm just going to move it into position where i want it to be so after that i'm going to duplicate this into i think eight places or so so once you've duplicated them i'm going to select the last one here and use bring up the position tool and slide it over to the other edge so next i'm going to select all the dates all the years here then go down to align you can drag this down if you can see this then distribute horizontally so now you can see that our timeline has distributed horizontally and our and this year is even centered properly in the middle of our stroke here so this is what we want so the next thing i'm going to do is to change this years to increase per decade and one issue we have is that this second layer here is right close to this one which isn't supposed to be so but it doesn't matter if you want to switch it you can switch it but i'm just going to rename them i'll rename them based on how they appear on our timeline here so next i'm going to pre-comp all the years here then i'm going to go inside this pre-con then i'm going to add a solid because our background is dark so it's going to be a white solid bring it down so i'll remove this white solid later remember to remove it so because i know that 1890 is in the middle i'm going to because this is where we are going to be animating our our timeline here so i'm just going to move this ruler here to indicate that this is the middle then next i'm going to add a new null layer then select all the years and parent them to the null layer then we're going to do a quick animation let's see at 10 frames i'll bring up the position and set a keyframe here then go forward a bit then i'm just going to drag this to 18 let's say 1860 like this then go forward a bit again then add a keyframe this will be like a whole keyframe then i'm going to go forward to maybe around four seconds here then drag this back to around let's say 1920 and like that so i'm just going to make this easy ease and also i'm going to hold out and extend this animation so it's around six seconds then select everything go into the graph editor then adjust the graph editor like this not too much 
So I'm just going to disable this and go back to the main comp and we'll see what we have here. But we are not done yet. So I'm, go I'm going to go back into my comp to duplicate this year one. You can rename it. I'm going to rename this to year two. Then for this year one here, I'm going to bring up the opacity, make the opacity 20. Then for the year two, I'm going to make sure you are at the beginning of your timeline. Then I'm going to draw a max around it. Like this. Now you can see that the other years are kind of, the opacity is reduced. Now we have something like this. Then that's not all. We're going to go down into the max, then add a feather. Maybe feather it a bit to around 25 or so. Whichever one you want. Then go back. So let me play this back. So now you have a timeline that you can use for your animation, for your documentary style animation. And you can also, so finally you can add things to the background and tell your stories from there. So this is the first one you're going to, so you're going to be creating two more. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more tutorials like this, please like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to support me, you can do that on buy me a coffee or on Patreon and link to the project files will be in the description below. So let's get into the second one. So for our next timeline, we're going to create a new composition. This is going to be 1920 by 1080, the duration will be 20. I'm going to add a new solid and th this time it's going to be gray, not too dark like this, something like this. So it's almost the color of our main background, but this is okay. So next, I'm going to bring in a ruler for to guide for our stroke. I'm going to put this down. For this one, it's going to be in the middle here. I'll go to my stroke. Make sure nothing is selected and I'll change this to white. And the stroke size is going to be 4 pixels. Then I'm just going to click here, then here, and go to your selection tool and align this. So this is okay. So I'm just going to toggle down. Let me move this on it. I'm just going to toggle down, go down to our stroke. Then for this dash, I'm just going to click it once to give us this nice dash here. And the default settings is okay. So I'm going to go back. Then I'm going to add a trim path to this, like this. So next, we are going to animate this trim path here. So I'm just going to go down. Then I'm going to go forward a bit, maybe around 10 here. And I'm going to set the start value to 15 and also the end value to 15. Then set the keyframe for both of them. Then I'm going to go down to 2 seconds and 10 frames forward. Then put this all back to the default value. Like this. And we have this simple animation. Then at 216 to 15. I'm going to bring up only the position, then set a keyframe here, then go forward to around 418. Then I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to make this easy ease. Go into the graph editor. So let me play this back. But we are not done yet. So this is going to be a simple one. So next we're going to add the year. So I'm just going to click on my text tool here and so I'm using the Poppy's font, Extra Bold, and I'm just going to type in April 20, then go below, and um, 1945. So I'm just going to go down to the Align tool here, and center this, then go back, and make sure this is white. And the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to select only April, and reduce the font and also change the font width to maybe regular, like this. We are going to animate this. But first, I'll bring up the position, then move this to where the animation is going to end, somewhere here. So this way, our animation is going to end. So I'm just going to set a keyframe here. Then I'm going to go for a bit, just where our stroke is making it final descent. So I'm just going to raise this up like this. Then make this easy ease. Go to the graph editor, adjust it. I'll go back and we have something like this, but we're not done yet. So I'm just going to pre-comp this. Then I'm going to draw a max around it. Like this. 
something like this so you can play around with it then add your background animation and your story and this is one way to make a great timeline so thank you and see you in the third one so for our final timeline i'm going to create a new composition 1920 by 1080 and i'm going to be going through this quickly if you want the project file it will be in the description for you so the first thing i need to do is bring in our mouse here so i'm just going to be using this list of mouse and i'm going to place it in the middle here kind of align it to the middle then i'm going to scale this down then bring in our text to and i'm going to type 2010 and i'm using the poppins font i'm going to increase the the font size then next i'm going to duplicate this text here then move this one below then i'm going to type lisa mouse then change the color to white and maybe reduce the font size a bit then finally i'm going to select all of them then recompose them then it's going to be pre comp one then i'm going to go inside this pre comp then let me go back to my selection too Then select this icon here region of interest then i'm going to crop the region of interest like this then go to the composition then go to crop crop come to region of interest so it's smaller i guess then i'll go back here then after that i'm going to make sure you duplicate this pre-com here here on the project panel and not on the timeline so i'm just going to duplicate this into 12 places 12 places so but before we bring them in I'm going to make this our composition, our current composition. I'm just going to enlarge it for just a quick minute. So I'm just going to make this around 6,400. I think it should be okay. Then I'm going to make sure you select from the 12th one to the second one and bring them down like this so it's arranged properly. So for this first one here, I'm going to drag it to, to the right like this. Then for the last one, I'm going to push it all the way to the edge here then i'm going to select this one then select hold shift make sure you hold shift to select everything then i'm going to go to align then align horizontally there might be two the gap between them is a bit much so i'm just going to work on that quickly so once you're done aligning the next thing you need to do is i'm going to go into each of the pre -con. so this one i'm going to import my second image here then i'm going to bring it into then I'll try to adjust it to fit the one we have here already. So I'm just going to bring up the position and the scale. So this might take, take a while to do this properly. So sometimes you need to unchain this. Let me also bring up the opacity so we can see what we have below. So unlink the scale so that you can scale them independently. And I'm also going to change the year. and the text i'm just going to make this lisa mouse too now when you go back to our main com you see that we have a new image here and don't forget to delete the old one and make and bring up the opacity of this one now you can see we have a new max a new mouse and a new label there so you have to do this for everything here i'm not going to do that in this tutorial if you want the project file to be in, in the description below like i said so next we move on to animating this so to animate this first we need to bring back our composition we need to make our composition 1920 by 1080 back like this then before i'm going to add a new solid so this solid is going to be gray as usual something like this bring it down so this is going to be our background then i'm going to bring add a null layer So this is our null layer then i'm going to select all of my composition and parent them to the null so we'll use the null to control so we are going to create a quick animation so i'm just going to bring up the position for our null layer here go for two seconds or more then set a keyframe this is where it's going to end then go back to like maybe one second or so then drag this down then i'm going to go forward a bit set a hold keyframe then go forward to like maybe seven seconds or so or six then i'm going to drag this like this then make this easy ease go to your graph editor and just adjust this as you want 
So let me play this back for you to see. And also, we are going to add motion blur to this. You just select everything here and add a motion blur. So you can tweak this animation to your own preference and make it customize it to how you want. And like you see from the final result, I added some other things. So thanks for watching. Like I said before, if you want the project file, it will be in the description below. So thank you and see you in the next tutorial.